hi guys welcome to my channel this is claire i'm so so glad to have you here today i'm showing you how i made this simple mirror and yarn wall hanging decoration all the material i'll link them in the description box below so just keep watching i'm starting off with this 10 inch mirror that i got from michael's and then also bead wire i got it from the dollar tree and now i'm just measuring off 32 inches this is the same diameter as the mirror and i joined three wires so it's strong enough and i covered it with tape but you can also use um the floral tape as well the thread will be hanging from this wire so what i did next was to cut the thread i got this from walmart and then i also used cardboard this is 7.5 inches and i just made loops around it and then just cut it in the middle and this will be the thread that will make the loops I really cut a lot of yarn you don't need all this um so i went ahead and made the loops uh so you just need to make three of the threads and then just loop it around the the wire if you're here for the first time you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell so that you're updated every time i upload thank you As I was looping, I just really made sure that um, it's all even and then also that um, you pack it, pack them close to each other because we want to make it so fluffy. When all that's done, the next step is basically to brush this earth bread so we can make it really fluffy. I used just the combs I didn't really care much about. Uh, it wasn't an easy process, you need really time and patience. Uh, so I just combed it uh, using the different combs to see what really would work. Um, I also tried using a pet comb but that you don't want to use that on this thread, it's so hard to use. So I just stuck to um, the combs only and yeah, worked my way all through. For great results, please don't forget to turn this piece over and also comb uh, on the back end. That way all the thread will be fluffed out and it will look so much better. And this is how it looks like after like an hour. <laughs> and uh, I'm really glad it really came out so well. I put that aside and then cut out foam board and this was 20.5 inches in diameter and then I traced out my mirror in the center and this is where I will be gluing it using the E6000. I also covered the mirrors I was working so I don't have uh, glue going all over it and so now I just placed some objects to keep it in place as I um, glued my thread around this mirror.
I combed it out just to make sure it's even enough and now I'll be gluing my fluffy side onto the foam board using uh, the spray adhesive. Here you really have to work fast because this glue really dries um, so fast so you want to keep combing as you're gluing it so the thread is even as it gets glued onto the foam board. Not all the thread will be really glued onto the foam board but at least it's a fluff so it will not really fall apart. And now I got scissors and then cut off all the excess um, thread. For nature work, yes, please don't forget to keep combing as you cut this thread. And so now when that was all done, I added these self-adhesive pearls that I got from the 99 cent store. Yes, so they have their own glue, you just need to attach them onto the mirror. So the last step was basically for me to add a few flowers. Um, I already had these around at home, so I just attached them using uh, hot glue. And then I also cleaned this entire piece and uh, cleaned the mirror as well using a glass cleaner and I also hung it using these clips that I got from the Dollar Tree and a pin. Now this piece is not really heavy so this worked perfectly. I just glued this pin on the back uh, of this piece and just hung it up on the wall. And that's it for the entire arrangement. I hope you really really love this just as I did. Please give me a like, um, share this video with your family and friends and as well as subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you are updated every time that I upload. I also have other videos that you can check out in my description box to inspire you with decoration and crafts and DIYs. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.